back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are taking a closer look at the WWE Elite Series 90 Big Boss Man and Reckoning figures, or Mia Yim, if you shall say. But also in this set, guys, we're also going to be ranking the set from worst to best. Now, the idea for the video that I had as far as ranking the set, like, not only are we going to rank the set, but I want to create a new video series where maybe we rank the set, we go over the full set, I tell you what the, the best accessory is in the set, what the best head sculpt is, what the worst is, you know, just kind of break down the information of the set as a whole. So if you guys would rather see a two-in-one review of the last two figures in the set and then the following day do the ranking and do the full breakdown of the set like I'm talking about, let me know down in the comment section below, man. But if you'd like to grab Big Boss Man and Reckoning, go over to WrestlingFigures.com use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Lots of great figures over there, man. The figures are getting better and better. AEW, WWE, doesn't really matter, man. They're always pumping out epic figures and you can get them all over there using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But here's our front viewing window. We've seen Big Boss Man just like this multiple times before, but I think they have made some changes to it, which we're going to take a closer look at. We also have Reckoning over here. You know, we do have Mustafa Ali in the set, and then we have T-Bar and Mace coming soon. But there's your front viewing window. On the side, you get an image of both the talents right there. On the back, you get Mia Yim and Big Boss Man. Little bio read right there. If you guys want to read it, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave that we've already reviewed. Side name right there. Series 90. True effects. All the good things. And that wraps up our packaging for these two figures, man. With that being said, let's Let's go ahead and crack them out of their packaging, get into these reviews, and then rank the set from worst to best. Alright guys, so here's Big Boss Man and Reckoning out of their packaging. Liking what I'm seeing, both figures feel really good in the hand. I can go ahead and tell you that right off the bat. So if you guys are wondering, MDT, how's it feel in the hand? Well, man, it feels pretty damn good. But besides that, man, what we're going to do is do it just like we do all of our other videos, except after we get through with the reviews, we are going to rank the set from worst to best, which I can't wait for. This is a pretty damn good set, so it's going to be kind of hard to judge, honestly. But with all those things, man, let's go ahead and run it down, and let's get into the review, shall we? We're going to break down Big Boss Man's accessories and Big Big Boss Man, and then we're going to do the same thing for Reckoning. So let's go ahead and do this thing. So getting into Big Boss Man's accessories, man, since he is a police officer, or a Big Boss officer, or the Big Boss Man, he comes with a pretty good boss accessories. So our first accessory is this hat. We have seen this hat mold multiple times before, at least it kind of, it kind of feels like it's pretty deep, you know, and if you guys want to see what it looks like on the figure already, you know, you just plop it on here. I like the way this hat looks. I, it looks like my emblem may be a little bit misprinted, like off to the side there, which isn't a huge deal, but if you guys, uh, hopefully yours will be better if you find this thing on the pegs at retail it's going to be a minute before you see it at retail but when you see it at retail try to look at that hat try to see if you can you know get one that's more in line that way you know the next guy has to take the fall for it i'm just kidding but seriously though it would be nice if these were printed more accurately but you guys can see there you got the little sheriff badge star and then it says big boss man we also have a nightstick accessory you know big boss man was nothing without his nightstick gotta have the nightstick to beat the hell out of people gotta have the nice trusty nightstick so that's a good mold there we've seen this many 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 times in the past so it's nice to have another one here we we also have some handcuffs. Now, one thing that I will say is this is a new handcuff mold because they're not rubber. They're actually plastic and they're hard. So I think they did that because the others were kind of easy to break. And I just recently broke a pair of mine, so I'm nice. it's nice to have these. But if you guys want to put these on the figure or any figure, you're going to have to pop the hands off and then re-put the hands back on there. So if you try to put them on an older figure, you may run into some issues there. But there are the handcuffs. They look really good. I like the color on them. I think they look nice. They're, they're handcuffs. You know, what's a police officer without handcuffs? So there's that. And I Outside of that, I know Kyle Peterson will be happy. They have fisted hands, so that's really nice to see. They gave us some, you know, nice skin tone fisted hands. We have a finger pointer hand to tell people to shut the hell up. You got your pointing hands, which look really good. Nice sculpt on these. Seen these multiple times. And then out of the packaging, he comes with mic holding hands, which are always beautiful to see. But that does it for Big Boss Man's accessories. So starting out with the head sculpt with the Big Boss Man figure, guys, starting out here, I think this is the best Big Boss Man head sculpt we've seen. You know, I think this is better than the British Bulldog Big Boss Man battle pack that we recently just got. I think it's better than the Elite 14. It's better than the Network Spotlight. This is a great looking head sculpt. I think they did a really good job on this one. And it turns out that this torso is actually a different mold than the last Big Boss Man. I'll do a short little comparison right here. So you guys can see the new one on the right and the old one on the left. So you guys can see it's slightly different. Like the collar comes down a little bit more. You got some more buttons on the left side. The strap is not as covered by the collar. So it's very 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 similar but they are slightly different as you guys can see. Belts are slightly different. Like they're 
some slight differences between these guys. Legs look a little bit slimmer, I would say. This is a really nice upgrade from our previous Big Boss Man. I mean, I, I love that we upgraded it, but at the same time, it's like, was it necessarily needed at this juncture? I don't know. But you guys also notice he has single jointed arms, not double jointed arms. The blue color looks good. I like the way the belt scope looks. The black pants look really nice as well. You got your yellow stripe, nice shoes going on right there. So I don't know. I like the figure a lot. It's just, did we need it? That's kind of my only big gripe here. So if you guys have the regular boss man right here, and then you stack up the network spotlight boss man, because I don't have the elite 14, they look pretty damn similar. I will say I'm glad they made him a little bit taller because big boss man was gigantic and they made his head more accurate size. So that's pretty good right there. I like this a lot. Yeah, this is definitely the best big boss man today. And then getting into Reckoning's accessories, man, what a beautiful cloth accessory. Another figure in the set, another cloth accessory. Now this will never get old for me. They did use like that towel like feel to it or the, you know, like the Kurt Angle jacket from the Elite 59 figure is what this feels like. You got the little, got the Retribution logo right there, which looks really good. It fits the figure well, as you guys saw, it does have a hood on it, but this is just amazing, man. What is this, like the third or fourth figure that has cloth in it? That's insane, man. Like double jointed arms, better head sculpts, more articulation, cloth accessories. I mean, the WWE Elite line is making its case as the best figure line across all brands, especially at like a 20, $25 price point on the market. Kind of unbeatable with all this stuff you're getting, but Retribution logo looks good right there. I like this jacket a lot, even if you don't use it for Reckoning. Beautiful looking jacket. And then outside of that, she does have mic holding hands. No, you know, uh, nail polish or anything on there, but they are mic holding hands. So, you know, those look good right there. And then out of the packaging, she comes with fisted hands. So again, Kyle Peterson getting happy. Fisted hands. Love to see it. And getting into Mia Yim, man, starting out at the head sculpt. Now, this is an accessory I didn't include because it kind of sits on the figure, but she does come with a black bandana that sits on the head sculpt that's pretty nice there you guys can see the pattern right there but i like this head sculpt i do not like that the mask is not removable you cannot take the mask off it is a part of it there but the blue but the blue color and the hair looks really good i like the mask covering the mouth right that like it's it's a nice head sculpt i think it is like it looks like mia yim i think it captured the likeness there you got the silver and black top going around double jointed arms tattoos going down the spinal cord again really love the blue color and the hair like it stands out really nicely so that's always something i love black silver and white going around you got your black silver and white wrist bands right there. Nice retribution slash reckoning little logo here. Silver and black and white going down. Pinless leg joints right here that are double jointed which are nice. Waist swivel does feel tight which is nice. Double jointed arms are really classic. This figure is a lot better than I expected it to be. Then you include the cloth hoodie. Going to be an interesting ranking I can tell you that. However going down into the shoes here you guys can see here this is where the boot swivel is at the bottom of the shin so she has like these capri style pants on. Little markage right there. But you have the skin tone going down into the shoes that I think Carmella came with. And then she does have her dragon tattoo on her ankle over here. I know that hurt like a bish. And I don't really like the way this looks from the front like that because it's kind of hard to blend in. Like with Carmella, I think it was solid black, so it looked, you know, a little bit better there. But I don't know. I, I like it. The figure feels really good in hand. The articulation and everything like that. Let's back it up a sec. And, you know, like the figure can pose around really well. Like feels really good in the hand. Good double joint knees. Upper thigh. Like, dude, this this figure, if you wanted to book her as champion in your fed, wouldn't even, wouldn't even mistake it because she feels so good in the hand to pose around with. Two of the better women's figures from the last, you know, year or so. Elite 85 Lynch and Elite 81 Bianca. And they all look good together. I like the way they look. You know, the women's figure is getting better and better. Like, this women's figure is outstanding compared to ones of the past. Like, you know, with the stiff legs and the god-awfulness. This is a kick-ass women's figure, and you love to see that. But now that we've done that, man, let's get into ranking Elite Series 90 from worst to best. All right, guys, it is that time of the video where we rank Elite Series 90 from worst to best in my own personal opinion. You guys know how we do this, but I'm going to run through the rules in case you're new. So just because a figure comes in at the bottom of the ranking does not mean that it doesn't have any good things about it whatsoever. And just because a figure comes in at number one doesn't mean that it doesn't have any faults whatsoever and it's just the perfect figure and it's just God's greatest gift to earth. And then if you're wondering about the criteria for the ranking, such as what things I take into consideration when ranking, it comes down to excitement level for the figure, how the figure feels in hand, how well does it pose, how much does it look like the person, head sculpt, accessories, posability, how much usage is it, do I like the superstar in question, lots of different things things come into it, man, but let's go ahead and break it down. So coming in at the bottom of the ranking, it was kind of tough, honestly. It was really, really tough, but at the end of the day, man, I went with Big Boss Man. I felt that Big Boss Man, while he's a good figure, I just felt that he wasn't necessarily needed, right? Like, I think he's a great figure. I like his accessories. I like the way he feels in hand. He poses well, but he's also on ball joints. If you guys were wondering, he is on ball joints, but he has single jointed arms. This is the third time we've seen this figure, like, in the Elite line. Like, this exact same figure has been redone or re-released for the third time with this one. It is the best head sculpt, however. Single jointed arms, not that excited for it. Third time we've gotten it, eh. 
comes in at the bottom. Coming in at the number five spot, I'm going with Jay Uso. Now, this one may shock you a little bit, but if this had been in black gear, it would have been a little bit higher for me. I just think that it's missing a little bit of paint apps there. We've seen this exact figure before. You know, the torso, the crotch, and the legs are all from the Elite 54 Jimmy Uso. I am excited about the double joint arms. I like the white sleeve. I love the cloth shirt. It is an updated Jay Uso. However, out of the rest of the set, this one isn't as impressive. Coming in at number four, I'm going with Reckoning. Really good figure right here, man. Really good women's figure. I think that, you know, it doesn't feel like all wobbly dobbly, which is good. It feels tight and secure. Tight waist joint. Good double jointed arms. Has the freaking cloth hoodie. She looks pretty badass to me. Great posability. Feels great in hand. I mean, these are all things that I love out of the women's figures, so th this is impressive release for me. Solid head sculpt. The mask isn't removable, but that doesn't really bother me to, to be honest with you, so I, I like it. I think the figure is really uniform and looks good. I have her at number four. Coming in at number three, we have Bronson Reed. Now, this may shock you. You may have thought it had been a little bit higher, but I don't like that he has the elbow pads with the black underneath. Also, he's not my favorite superstar. The figure is phenomenal, though. I will say, like, I like the ab crunch. I love the jacket. These legs aren't the most poseable, especially in certain situations. Not necessarily poseable, but they're, like, the le the feet always, like, slide out for me with this foot mold and leg mold. Like, Rhino does it, too. I don't know why it does that. I think it's the ball joints combined with the bigness combined with the, the boots there, but still a really great great figure great head sculpt feels really good in the hand like I, lo I love this figure i just think that it's the third best in the set in my opinion down to the top two man we have mustafa ali and randall keith and for me i'm going number two mustafa ali number one randy orton for me the mustafa ali is super fantastic i love mustafa ali i love the gear i love the head sculpt only thing i can really deduct points for is i think the head's a bit long right like i feel like the face is a little bit long there i need to fill in the beard a little bit He's got that extra neck flappage over there. But the figure feels really good in the hand. Like, he can pose around. I love the gear. I love the cloth shirt, double jointed arms, all the different things. But at the end of the day, man, number one's going to my man Randy Orton, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. Probably my favorite gear he's ever worn. Getting it in figure form is fantastic. I like the head sculpt. I love the double jointed arms Orton. White and, and red gear. Great joints. Really an underrated guy to fed with. I feel like a lot of guys don't really fed with Randy Orton that often. So, a beautiful specimen, man. What a great look figure super excited for it i mean a cloth hoodie would have been nice but i like the steel chair and the night goggles i love the way the night goggles look on the figure too so i know the back's not accurate but even not having the accuracy on the rko it's still a sick ass gear and it's a beautiful figure i'm really excited to have this in the collection now and uh yeah i think randy orton's the best in the set so if we're redoing it man we have randy orton at number one we have mustafa ali at number two bronson reed at number three reckoning at number four jay uso at number five and big boss man at number six six. Let me know down below, guys, what you are ranking this set as. I think it's a really great set. I heard Bretto Live say that Elite 89 was better. I don't know about that. I don't know. I think uh, I think both of them are really, really good. But this is a damn good set, too, man. Like, the figures are getting better and better. It's kind of unbelievable how good these figures are getting. It's kind of scary when you think about how good Elite 100 is going to be, but that is going to wrap up Elite Series 90 ranking and all of those different things, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think of all the things down in the comment section below. Action figure surgery should be coming soon with all the different figures we've been getting but thank you guys for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video don't forget to grab these at ringside collectibles using code md toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you and don't cross the line like the white usos gear again you cross